Last week we brought you news of how Service Children's Education was marking its 60th anniversary in Germany. Well, at the weekend it was Cyprus's turn to celebrate with the 50th anniversary of Akrotiri Primary School. Every one of the almost 500 pupils took to the streets of the air station for the community carnival. Organised in the evening, when it would be a little cooler for the little feet, the route was lined with well-wishers and proud mums and dads, many of whom had loaned out their retro clothes for the occasion. This year, to coincide with the birthday, the teachers came up with a plan to involve the whole station, so a festival of art and history was conceived. It's been educational for the kids to learn about the years of their school's life. We've had a terrific week. Every class has been paired up with another one, so we've had year sixes working in foundation stage right across school, and they've each had a decade to work on, so we've had sort of golden discos and all sorts of history and bookmaking. The work's been fantastic. After all that dancing in the streets, it was time to relax on the grass with a picnic and enjoy a performance of some of the music from the school's five decades. Some past pupils had even come back for the occasion. From 1961, I think, Mr. Still, I think, is here. And Claire McKnight, who runs our crest, she was here in the, I think it was, the, I better say 70s, but I think it might have been before that. Because Forces children have a constantly transient lifestyle, rarely staying in the same school for more than a couple of years, the staff here wanted to make this a time for the pupils to feel a valued part of the permanent history of their school. Ah! 